This is the best one light setup, especially if you're on a budget. In fact, you could get three of these modifiers for under $200. But there's one thing that you gotta keep in mind because if you don't pay attention to this one key thing that we're gonna talk about, it could wreck your results with one light. So with that being said, we're gonna get into it. We'll talk about how to use this one light, how you could do some different variations to it. And with that being said, welcome to Breakdown. So since we're talking about a one light setup, let me introduce the light that I'm using for this entire photo shoot. This is the Westcott FJ400, and it's a really nice strobe, but keep this in mind, and I say this in a lot of my videos, even though I'm using the FJ400, the techniques and the things that I'm showing you, you can use any light, whether it be a speed light, whether it be a constant light, some other strobe, whatever light it is that you have, by all means, give it a shot. You may have to use different settings in your camera to achieve the looks that we're gonna show you, uh, but it's still perfectly capable of being done. But in this case, FJ400 is what I have at the studio, so that's what I'm gonna be using. That's the one light. Let's get into the modifiers. All right, let's talk about the light modifiers, which are really the most important part of your one light setup. Listen, there's a lot of different light modifiers that are available to you out there at all kinds of different price points. This setup for me is my absolute favorite because you could literally do hard light, you could do soft light and everything in between. So whoever it is you're photographing, you can make them look really good. The one that I have right now, this is a seven foot umbrella. Uh, this one is made by Westcott. And uh, I mentioned this at the beginning of the video that there was a three pack that you can get for like under 200 bucks uh, that comes with silver, comes with a white interior, and then there's a shoot through version, uh, which is something that for me, I really love the way that it just works for portrait photography. And then there's an accessory that we'll talk about here momentarily, but these light modifiers are fantastic. The big thing about these is that you have a seven foot modifier. So you've probably heard it, heard it said many times that the larger the light source is, the softer the light's gonna be. And for a lot of people, they like to get that soft light look. But what's great about this is, let's say if you use the silver umbrella, it's gonna give you a little bit of a harder light, even though it's really big, you're gonna get a softer, something in between, right? It's gonna be hard, but a little bit soft. If you go with the white interior, you're gonna get the softest look. And then if you go with the shoot through umbrella, it's gonna give you also a pretty soft, even spread of light, which might look a little more like natural light. Uh, so either of those three modifiers, whatever your preference is, you could actually just buy one uh, modifier and it's gonna be a lot more affordable. Or you could buy the three pack and have all three so that based on whoever it is that you're shooting, you have a modifier there available for you. So these are the three different umbrellas and let's get to the next thing. All right, so let's talk about the positioning of your one light setup. Now, I have a spot that I really love to put my lights that just gives you a nice even light, not just on your subject, but also on the background. And that's having your modifier directly in front of your subject. Uh, what I tend to do is, I will basically uh, meter my light to somewhere around F8, F9, F10, have it directly in front of the model. What's great about that is if you bring this light up a little bit, it gives you just a really nice natural looking light, spreads across the background. But the real magic is that, let's say for example, if this light is five, six feet away from your subject, what's cool is that you have this 180 degree, picture like a basketball court, right? You've got this 180 degree a half circle around your subject that you could take this light, you could essentially move it to the side. So you could have it, you know, if I have it here, I don't have to change my camera settings. What's gonna happen is that one light, instead of it being flat on your subject, now you're gonna get a little bit of dimensionality. You'll get some shadows on the opposite side of the face. Uh, but what's really cool is if you wanna soften those shadows, fill the shadows a little bit, you could use a white V-flat, you could use a whiteboard, whatever it is that you have, a white wall even. Um, that will help to give a little bit of directionality, but uh, it will also fill the shadows in a little bit more. So really, if you stay within that 180 degree um, circle, half circle of your subject, uh, once you have the lights set up and you got the settings looking good, you can explore, right? Kind of play around with it, see if the light looks good without a whiteboard. And if it looks good, you're off to the races. If the shadows are a little bit too dark for you, that's okay too, because you can get the V-flat, you are ready to go from there. So that's the positioning of the light, but what about the interior, right? Because you got three different interiors. When do you use silver versus white versus a shoot-through? Let's talk about that. 
Before we talk about these different uh, fabrics for the modifiers, let me take a moment to introduce my model, Jordan. Make sure you give her a follow. I'll have her information in the description of this video, as always. But uh, thanks for being here, making this awesome. And listen, Jordan's a piece of cake. Any of these modifiers that I use are gonna make her look awesome. Uh, but there's gonna be some people that you're gonna photograph where one type of modifier might actually make one person look great, but the other person not so great. Um, so when do you choose one versus the other? Well, the white interior on this umbrella is gonna give you a really nice soft light. It's gonna give you a nice uh, soft shadow on the person's face, under their chin, uh, all depending on what the positioning of the light is. So if you have the white modifier, I would say that makes the majority of people look really good. Like if you're not working with a beautiful person like Jordan and you've got like an everyday person, use white, okay? It's gonna make most people look amazing. If you have somebody who has great skin, right? Somebody who is in like the top 1% uh, of human beings walking the, the, the planet that has great skin, um, great hair, great everything, then you could use the silver. And the silver, what it's gonna do for you is it's got more contrast. And even though it's a seven foot umbrella, there's more contrast to that lighting. So it's gonna carve out the features of the person's face, their jawline, their cheekbones, all of that good stuff. It's going to be more pronounced if you have that silver modifier. And then you have the shoot through. And what's really nice about the shoot through is that you get a really nice soft light. And what's unique about it is I could actually get the light really close to the person, right? Because all these other modifiers, the light can only be so close to the person just based on the way that this uh, umbrella sits on this light. But with the shoot through, I could actually have it like just outside of the frame and it gives you this really soft, beautiful light. Just having that light source really, really close to your subject. So uh, the other thing with the shoot through is that it spreads the light everywhere. So it's a little bit more chaotic of a uh, light setup because the light just spreads everywhere. But again, you could do some things to control that lighting. Once again, bringing that white V-flat in, you can have that light spread. It's gonna hit the white wall. It's gonna cover shadows on the background, cover shadows on your subject. Um, so that's kind of how you would choose between one modifier or the other. It's really based on who is in front of your camera. Now, I kind of teased this at the beginning of the video, but there's a really important thing that you should consider getting when you get this type of setup. Uh, the seven foot umbrella is gonna give you that soft light, but what's really crucial is this one thing. So as we're talking about these one light setups, the one ingredient that I think you have to have if you really want to have the most versatility with this type of lighting is to get these diffusion panels. Uh, a lot of different companies make these. Um, you want to make sure that you get one that's made for a seven foot modifier. They're pretty easy to set up. But what's really great about this is that if you take this fabric and you put this over the top of your light, um, even if you have a white interior, which is already a pretty soft light source, especially because it's white, it's seven foot. Uh, but if you put this in front, this is going to diffuse the light. It's essentially going to give you a much softer light. Um, if you put this over the top of the silver umbrella, instead of having a really hard light, now you have a light that's not as hard. It's a little less hard, right? If you get the shoot through umbrella, I mean, you can use this and I have seen photographers that will use a shoot through umbrella and they actually use it as a bounce and they'll put this fabric on the other side. It works. I'm not a big fan of it. If you're in a room that's really small and you have white walls, white ceilings where you could just bounce light everywhere, that setup could work. Unfortunately, here at my studio, I don't have that. I've got white walls, but my ceiling tiles above me, they're kind of like a greenish beige uh, type of color. So if I use the shoot through to bounce off of that, we're not getting that nice, clean white light that we would get if these tiles were white. So that's something that you wanna keep in mind. You can use this with the shoot through, but it works best using it with the white or with the silver umbrella. And it's just essentially going to cut a little bit of the light. It's gonna diffuse it. It's gonna make it a little bit softer. Uh, so this is a must have accessory for your one light setup. The bottom line here is that umbrellas are gonna be the most budget friendly light modifiers that you can use. But just because they're budget friendly doesn't mean that they're lousy. We can get really great results using an umbrella. I actually have a video here on my channel where I discuss five different ways that you can use an umbrella. So you can check that video out, but I have another video that's coming out very, very soon where I'm gonna talk about the differences between soft light and hard light. So if that video is out at the time that you're watching this video, it will be here on screen for you to check out. 
Before you head out, make sure you follow Jordan as well. Thank her for being in the video, and I will see you in one of those two videos.